name is Jules Albert Wink. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Comedy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bill Lockhart. I'll be introducing. May I take this time, all of you, to turn off your cell phones or put them on silent? Yes. And without further ado, I introduce The Art of Nostalgia by Jules Alvarado. <laughs> Embarrassing, but um, this seems to be a uh, my baby TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not just mine either. Me and my little sisters. I mean, I don't know what it is, but my mom thought it'd be a good idea to pack them. I guess. <laughs> I could never tell which belonged to you know which kids, but one thing I always knew was that if it had a silver cap, it was always my sister's. <laughs> socks. Why, these are some of the nicest socks I own. Crazy how something so simple could bring back such memories. You know, I remember, <laughs> I remember when I was, uh, it was last year, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I fractured my foot last year. That's right. Mid-January 2017. <laughs> this bad boy right here. <laughs> cracking that bone. <laughs> story, I'm not gonna lie. I was walking and then my rolled my ankle and it cracked. <laughs> That's right. I was walking. <laughs> no stairs either, just flat floor and my clumsiness. I understand that it was just a small little fracture. I mean, I only needed crutches for about four to six weeks, but um, it, it was a pretty big deal to me. You know, I mean, this foot right here has been through some stuff. I've been walking on it for about 17 years. <laughs> what can you do, I guess? <laughs> oh. Nobody panic. I seem to have lost my Australian size spider. <laughs> I forgot to mention it's poisonous. <laughs> I used to sleep at my grandparents' house with my older sister. And I remember I would sleep in the bed right in between my grandparents. This one night in particular, she was bathing me and getting me ready for bed. And I would just like to mention that I probably have the worst arachnophobia out of anyone, you know? <laughs> I hate fake spiders, real spiders, toy spiders. Picture the spider. <laughs> Anything that reminds me of spiders, I just, I absolutely hate it. I don't see a point to why they have so many legs and <laughs> eyes. <laughs> but anyways, so my grandma was bathing me, as I mentioned earlier, and, you know, she was, uh, she had this bright idea. She knew I was scared of spiders, and she had this bright idea to be like, would you like to see my pet spider, Julie? I, at this, I'm at this point freaking out, and I, <laughs> I feel like I'm naked and afraid at this point. <laughs> She goes and gets it anyways. So <laughs> she reaches under her bed, just like so. She pulls it out and she comes up to me and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, of course, I reacted and I was terrified. And, and I imagine the expression on my face when I went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. 
And she said, I'll give it to you if you don't tell your mom. So I kept it, and here we are now. <laughs> oh, memories. This may seem like some sort of ordinary knob, but it's not. I can be sure that. This, it's weird because I have the worst memory, but somehow I remember exactly when this happened. It's like I have some sort of superpower or something, you know. <laughs> My mom was always telling me I was special, whatever that means. Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, times. But this one time in particular, because every now and then my parents would let us sleep in their room, so we'd be sleeping on their floor, no big deal. But So my dad decided to wake us up. It was March, it was a Saturday. I was about 10, 11 years old. <laughs> and, oh, I couldn't have done that earlier. We'll say something. So, <laughs> so anyways, my dad wakes us up and he's hitting us with our, our back of our heads with pillows, right? It's a pillow fight at this point. And I'm, I'm a pretty deep sleeper, so he's gotta hit me a couple times before I get up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but he hits me a little too hard in the back of the head and I go flying into this knob, right? <laughs> because I fell in that stupid P.E. locker room and nobody even bothered to help me up. <laughs> anyway. So, La La Land, I went to go see it. Great movie, by the way. But it's a bit interesting because I'm still on crutches. I'm a bit impatient. I wanted to see that movie right quick. So, I'm about to use the bathroom, right? I pull down my pants and I feel something fall into the toilet. That's right. My phone. <laughs> oh! I dropped my phone into the toilet. <laughs> I felt that. And I'm just, I'm hopping around on one foot, and I don't know what to do. So I'm screaming, freaking out. I take it to my older sister because it's still wet. And I don't know what to do. Dry it. But <laughs> thankfully, my older sister got mad at me after calling me dumb. She managed to clean it up for me. So all was well at that point. <laughs> <laughs> is a citation. <laughs> I bet you're all thinking, oh, she probably got that, like, what, middle school? No, that kindergarten. <laughs> it's crawled in trouble since the first day, but <laughs> this is a, for a good reason, you know. I, I guess you could say I got my first kiss in kindergarten. Aww. That's right. I was getting all the boys back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, not really, but <laughs> that's how I see it anyways. I mean, this boy was something else. We were playing a game, and naturally, since I'm a natural born actor, <laughs> I decided to take it seriously because, you know, he decided to pretend to die. That was his fault. But afterwards, I did what any normal sane person would do, and I gave him mouth to mouth. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, I got in a bit of trouble for it, but... Oh. Oh. I would reenact it, but I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> and, I mean, he decided, instead of thanking me, he decided to tell on me to my teacher. Oh. <laughs> and I got sent to the yeah. office to get a citation. Wow. So, I mean, he still goes here, so if you're out there, you know where to find him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> to get what she wanted from me, and it worked. But she, <laughs> her special thing she liked to do was she liked to come up to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> You're not my sister anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's pretty upsetting, and I'm sure you all thought, I'm sure you're all thinking, oh, there's no way you could have fallen for that, but I did. I sure did, and I cried. But... She liked to use a special tactic. It was still fear, but it was just more evolved. <laughs> so, oh. She liked to pretend to die. Ooh. You see, um, it's kind of funny because she would pretend to be the doctor. So she would be like, Julie, it's your fault that your sister's dying and there's nothing you can do about it. Jasmine, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. You really hurt my arm. Nope, it's too late. She's no. like you. You can't do anything about it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Julie, it's all your fault that I'm dying. <laughs> One last thing. You're not my sister anymore. <laughs> I didn't know what therapy was, but I'm pretty sure I know it. <laughs> you see, it's VHS, I know, it's kind of ancient, but I'm not a big fan of this unpopular opinion. The movie's good, don't get me wrong, but but rides? <laughs> I guess less the ride, more of the theater? <laughs> I don't know. That kind of questioned me wanting to be an actor at that point, you know? So, I mean, it's getting torn down now. Rest in peace or whatever. But <laughs> it was pretty terrifying because we went to the beloved California Adventure and I went to the Bugs Land Theater and I thought, you know, this is going to be pretty great. I know it is. Because you got the 4D glasses and it's like this whole thing around you and it's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this show and everything's all good and grand when the bugs are coming out because I know they're not real, I'm not dumb. <laughs> but then the spider comes on the screen. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a bit shooken up, but I'm good, I'm good. I know it's fake. Like I said, I'm not dumb. So, the spider then says, I'm going to call out all my buddies. <laughs> and I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? Little cartoon spiders? I'm good, I'm fine. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, There's nowhere you can hide. And there's air bushing against your ankles. <laughs> and you think there's spiders crawling all up your body. Imagine that, you're only like eight years old. <laughs> so I'm freaking out and I'm screaming and I say, forget my family, you can have them. And I run. <laughs> I bolt out of there and I'm crying once again. <laughs> and you know, it's just, it's pretty terrible. 
terrifying for me. <laughs> I'm glad it's being torn down. <laughs> yeah. Never forget that. <laughs> Who likes heels? Come on. I mean, they just make you taller and they look nice. <laughs> but they hurt. Yeah. And I mean, I can't normally keep them on for that long. I mean, sometimes if I'm doing good, I'll be able to tip-top my way up there. <laughs> but for the most part, these things hurt. So you see, for example, for prom, it was like 30 minutes in and they were off my feet. It's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I danced. I had a good time. Taking these off didn't bother me at all. I still danced. <laughs> I had a great old time, and I I guess you could say I looked good. Oh, yes. Not to be conceited or anything, but I looked great that night. <laughs> and I mean, there's a funny story behind the dress, because originally I had this black top dress with oh, blue at the bottom. It was nice and pretty. It was kind of like Cinderella. And we had bought it because it had pockets. <laughs> and, but then I decided to go to the mall with my friend like a week after. <laughs> and they, I saw this beautiful gold Aww. gown. It was so beautiful oh, yes. and amazing. And I just knew I needed it in my life. <laughs> so, of course, naturally, I called my mom and I'm begging her for the dress. And she says, and, I, and she says, that's not happening. And then I send her a picture and she says, how much is it? <laughs> <laughs> and so after that, I tell her it's about 250 And she's like, we'll see if we can return your other dress. But there's no problem. With it. So we call. We can't return my dress. So then my aunt, my grandma show up the next day. I was trying to get some money to buy myself. I was that desperate. <laughs> but my aunt, my grandma show up the next day. And they say, get in the car. We're buying you that dress. Aww. 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 Yeah. It was just, you know, and I mean, it was a dress I wore to prom. It was so pretty. Oh, I was literally yeah. the belle of the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. But it's a beautiful dress, and I looked amazing. I wish I had a picture around here somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. oh.
Aww. Two years is just too short, you feel me? Oh my God. Aww. But, you know, there's always those things you're not supposed to talk about with people, especially your significant other, right? We debated every single one of those topics. <laughs> we actually got into arguments over politics. I was right. I know. Was it easy? No. We were both pretty stubborn. We didn't want to give up on the fight. But, I mean, that's fine, because I knew I was right the whole time. <laughs> it was a pretty, it was a mutual breakup. But as I mentioned before, I'm an emotional person, so of course I cried over it. <laughs> But after that, I got over and I saw my words. Am I right, ladies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, who needs a man? Oh! You are my friends. Oh! <laughs> I think it's time we get real and serious and have a little chit chat. So. I'm going to start off by saying that I tend to have a pretty rocky past when it comes to keeping friends. They tend to leave me right away, whatever the reason is. I guess I've been with a handful. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> with them, it's just, we barely met this year, if you think about it. But it feels like we've known each other for a long time. And the fact that I lost all those friends that I knew for years and I met them and they're suddenly so close to me is a bit of a big deal to me. It's like, because we're always sleeping over at someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> and we're always driving somewhere. <laughs> and every time we're in the car, the music's so loud, you just feel it vibrate throughout your entire body. And that's, that's a great feeling to have. I thought about it recently when we last hung out. I was just... They're, they liked class, I mean, they're black. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, instead of listening to the lyrics, I could actually feel it. So, and it's just, it made me really think about it. And it's such a nice feeling to have people like that, you know. And it's like, with them, like, the air feels fresher, the flowers seem brighter. Just everything seems better, you know. The days are too short. And there's like, there are the stars, the moon, the sun, and the entire <laughs> galaxy combined, all into each and every single one of them. They're just the entire universe embodied into each and every single one of their souls. And they're just beautiful people. They've given me some great memories that I'll never forget about. They're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that I don't really want to let them out of my life anytime soon. <laughs>